Alright hey guys, what's going on? I'm going to do this quick video because we are Syracuse bound again today for the last day. Um, but anyway, we had the gun show in Syracuse yesterday and uh, we do need to make another run back out for some last minute uh, orders that we got from friends of the family. And uh, so I do want to check on some other things I missed out yesterday. Uh, but to give a quick rundown, um, what I found for the AR yesterday was the AccuWedge. Um, for you guys that aren't familiar with what the AccuWedge is, it's like a little rubber buffer that fits in between your top and lower receiver. You drop out the pin, lift the upper receiver up, and it fits down like right here on the base. So that way when your upper receiver comes back down you pin it in, it kind of fills up that space and it's more of like, I mean it is, it's, it's essentially just a wedge uh, to where that way there's no side you know left or right sway play between your upper and your lower receiver um, you'll see that and you'll get that a lot more after you know the rifle kinda gets broken in and you're stripping it down a lot that just adds you know no no play to the upper and lower receiver and in turn uh, will actually make the firearm be more accurate since there's no play um, another thing that I got for the rifle was the magwell grip um, I like the way it looks, it's nice and flush, plus it brings you know the, my stance and how I shoulder the rifle a lot closer into my body, which I found is more comfortable for me. Um, I may get another handguard for the rifle today, I'm not too sure. Um, anybody that's watched my channel, I'm not into the whole tactical guy type thing. Um, the main use for this rifle is for recreation and for predator hunting. Um, so if I could find a decent quad rail system or a dual rail system for the top and the bottom I may go that route. Um, other than that, I mean I like this rail. It, it works fine, does what it's supposed to do. Um, the second thing that we found uh, for the AR was uh, the bore light. And pretty, pretty bright, pretty bright. Nice black design for you tactical guys out there. <laughs> um, another thing I want to get into are targets. Um, Lamb Dog, I know that you were having some issues with your pistol, not really too sure. Um, I think this type of target may help you. I know I'm definitely going to be using this. Um, you know, as shooters, we can only become more proficient as soon as we stop shooting and we think that we're the best shot that's walking the face of the earth our own ignorance is going to be our undoing um, they have this for a right handed and a left handed shooter and as you can see how the target's broken up um, it tells you pretty much what you're doing while you're shooting causing your bullet to impact where you were not aiming for um, if anybody's interested in these targets you can check out the website and order them from there. It's letargets.com. There's the phone number and the company that makes the targets. Thought that was pretty cool, so we had to pick some up. Uh, the second one is the splattering zombie dog with your neighbor's arm target. Uh, thought that was pretty cool. Gives you something different and fun to shoot at. And then I would show you guys these targets, um, but they are pretty, pretty tall. Um, the tan ones here are the silhouettes, and then I got some zombie targets. After all, every gun owner needs a zombie target. Um, and then there's three other targets. Um, one target is the guy with the pit bull that he's ready to unleash on you. The other one is uh, a mugger that has a gun to the side of a guy's head that's going to get into a bus. And then the third one is two thugs in an alleyway that have a gun drawn on you. Um, it adds kind of that realistic aspect rather than actually the real thing. Um, and it was just, again, something different to shoot at to make it a little different. Um, so I picked them up. Not a bad price. For all the targets, it was like 20 for 15 or 16 for 15, however it works out. Um, cheaper than ordering them targets. On, you know on the internet I know when I looked on Amazon I think the zombie targets were like two bucks a piece or three bucks a piece where 
I was getting the uh, the paper ones for a dollar, and then the actual photo targets of people that they did the zombie makeup to were two dollars a pop. Not a bad price for it at all. Um, another thing I picked up at the show was this knife. Um, I'm big into knives as well as my guns, and uh, this knife just caught my eye. It's got a nice wood handle. It's got the uh, the layover of the company symbol, or I should say the company's logo. Then it's got the window breaker that's milled right into the frame of the knife. Your seatbelt cutter right there. A really, really nice heavy duty belt clip. And the best thing I like about the knife is the open assist. And it's got the nice, that's the, uh, the maker. And it's got the nice Tanto blade on it. Um, I've been a fan of this style blade, and I have never had a knife that had the Tanto blade on it. Um, so I had to have it. So that's that's pretty cool right there. And then we'll go over to my machete. Um, now I do have a Gerber Gator machete, and there's nothing bad about that machete that I can say. It has done every job that I've put in front of it. However, I wanted something that had a thicker blade and less sway to it once you got into the little thicker stuff that you needed to start chopping out. Um, so I picked this one up and it's got the three nuts and bolts that go through the blade through the, the whole handle plus it's got the nice heavy duty you know knuckle guard on it. I want to say the overall length is 24 26 inches and it comes with the sheath. Um, Another dealer that was at the show yesterday had this machete for 44 bucks. Found it at the dealer that I bought it from for 25 bucks. Um, that guy is into, you know, bushcraft, camping, survival, prepping. Awesome guy. It was the the guy, his two daughters, and his son. Um, they had the Mora knives there for 50 bucks. Any type of blade starter kits. Um, emergency packs, uh, military surplus surgical kits, first aid kits, paracord out the yin yang. Um, just awesome, awesome people. It was a real fun time. I think I spent the most time at their booth. And if you guys want to give them a check out, um, this is their business card. It's the campfireshop.com. Uh, Adam is the owner. There's his email address, his website, and a phone number. Uh, you guys can go ahead and give him a call, order anything that you may want from him. Awesome quality stuff. Ridiculously reasonable prices. Um, just an awesome, awesome local upstate New York, you know, mom and pa type of a thing. Family doing what they love together. So, you can't really get much better than that except for the next thing. So, I was walking through the show and I heard a turkey call and I just instantaneously got my blood flowing. It seriously felt like I was out hunting. I'm like, I hear a turkey, but I don't have my shotgun. <laughs> so I came across, there was an actually right behind me, um, they had a turkey call station. And this is uh, who it was. And it's from Empire Game Calls. Um, that's Jim Montanaro and his daughter. And they were actually both there yesterday. Um, unbelievably awesome awesome guy uh, his daughter is awesome a little bashful and shy uh, but she's starting to get into you know the whole calling and the sport shooting aspect of it um, as far as her clays and whatnot and uh, she's into hunting which is awesome um, you know there's not many females in upstate New York that actually hunt I mean they'll wear the pink camo and have the hot pink mossy oak sticker on their vehicle but they've never hunted a day in their life but anyway, um, just to give you a little info on uh, Jim. Um, he is a New York State champion turkey caller, and he is inducted into the New York State Sportsman Hall of Fame um, for his calling. He locally makes and produces all his hand calls. He has the uh, hand calls, box calls, um, mouth calls, glass calls, crystal calls, slate calls, so on and so forth. And also right there, his product comes with a conditional lifetime warranty. Obviously conditional meaning you happen to miss a, a long beard, you get pissed off, you throw your call, it hits a tree, 
you shatter it, he's not going to replace it. But if at any point, um, you know, the sound chamber gives out, the glass ends up cracking, or the slate ends up breaking, something that would happen to the cowl under, you know, usage conditions, he covers, and he's been in business for 25 years. Obviously, if you're making a shitty call, you're not going to stay in business for 25 years. Um, to give you a rundown on this, um, this is the Rapid Fire Series call. It's a dual, cha uh, dual sound chamber, glass on top, slate on the bottom. Comes with your wooden striker, your carbon striker if it happens to start raining out, and a curl call. Okay, the curl call... I think it sounds better than the one that came with my Primo's Power Crystal. And, again, I haven't uh, gotten these strikers conditioned yet to where they can actually strike properly on the call. Um, I have the one from my Power Crystal. So I'll give you a demonstration on how that call sounds. And my hands in the way. Get this set up on the side of my AR. Just because I'm not going to sit there and, and endorse something. And again, like I said to him, I was looking for a call like this for this season. I'd rather pay the money and buy from a local New York Stater and keep the money local rather than going to a Dick's or a Gander Mountain or to Walmart to purchase a turkey call. Um, and this call is absolutely phenomenal. Keep in mind, I have not finished... Um, preparing the glass surface yet, but from the sounds that you get out of this, the glass is going to be a little higher pitch, and the slate is going to be more of a raspy kind of older hen sound to it. But the the sound out of this call is absolutely phenomenal, and I actually do have my Primo's Power Crystal, so I'll show you comparison. They're both made out of the same material, but you'll notice the difference. This is the Primo's Power Crystal. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not taking anything away from Primo's. This is still my favorite turkey call. However, the rapid fire um, from Empire's, you know, Empire calls, game calls, is definitely giving this call a run for its money. But to be fair, I'll compare the two. And this is the rapid fire from Empire Game Calls. That's the glass side. Flip it right over, goes right to the slate. That's the Empire Game Calls. This is the Primo's Power Crystal. <laughs> Has kind of the, the same high pitch, you know, the purrs and the clucks and the the kiosk and whatnot that the Empire game call has being crystal to glass. You can't really have too many calls when you're turkey hunting. You want to find something that's going to get the Tom's attention. The way that I look at it, if you already have a crystal call like the Primo's Power Crystal and you're looking for you know another two to three calls to bring with you, if you're a mouth call read guy, you have your mouth call, you've got your Primo's call, um, or your HS Strut Call, whoever you have, I would definitely recommend to check out Jim's website and get a call from him. Just to let you guys know, I picked this call up for 25 bucks. It came with the call, one striker, and a curl call. All right, now with Empire State or Empire Game Calls, all right, keep in mind, you get the curl call, you get the rapid fire, which is two calls in one, you get your slate call. You get your glass call, 
you get the wooden striker, you get the carbon striker for if it's raining out because it's waterproof, and you get the crow call. And there is his website, jimturkey.com. Just to let you all know, what did I pay for this package deal? The crow call, the two strikers, and the rapid fire call, 18 bucks. You're not going to be able to find that from anywhere else. Um, obviously, if you're ordering online, the shipping would probably be included. But again, I have yet to see, and if anybody knows of where you can pick up a uh, dual chamber call with two strikers and a locator call, be it uh, an owl call or a crow call, even say the shipping's five bucks, all right, that's $23, ship right to your front door, let me know. Post a video and let me know. Um, other than that, I haven't seen one. So with that said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and shut this off. We have to head back out to the gun show, like I said. Um, I'm going to bring my video camera along just in case if Jim wants to uh, do a video real quick for you guys. And uh, I'll show a lineup of what he has and what he has to offer. And you can hear it right from uh, the man and daughter team themselves. So with that said, I'm going to cut this out. And I'll catch you guys back here when uh, we're in Syracuse. Alrighty guys, so yesterday the 22nd, uh, we ended up running back out for some last minute supplies at the gun show. Um, so that was kind of a cool way to spend a Sunday. Uh, you'll have to pardon, oops, the mess I have here at my station uh, between getting out of work and getting everything together here. I still have everything kind of mopped up from the gun show and everything kind of put together um, but from the previous uh, video the new things that I had picked up yesterday um, people are probably familiar with the uh, Agula, Agula, however the hell you pronounce that with the uh, their sniper rounds or the subsonic 60 grain um, I had found these on Nanchez.com and for one box of these uh, to have them shipped to my house was $45 um, it's just ridiculous. Obviously, anything with ammo, New York State's going to jack up uh, the prices on having shit delivered to you. But anyway, um, I got uh, two boxes of these, which are the hollow points, and I only picked up one box of these ones, uh, which are really odd. You can see from the box, they're not a round nose. It's like a flat nose, almost like a semi-wad cutter. Um, but these 22 rounds have a... Uh, velocity, it was like 1,750 feet per second. Um, I remember doing some research on these on the internet, and apparently with this 30 grain 22 long rifle bullet, it has pretty much identical ballistics of a 22 Magnum. Um, obviously a, a, a slower velocity, but apparently these are hitting with 205 foot-pounds of energy. And for a 22 long rifle, that's pretty damn hard. Um, so without a doubt, and a dry coyote, um, these would have no issue um, taking one down. Um, a lot of people keep battling back and forth if a 22 long rifle is salvageable for personal defense, home defense, so on and so forth. Um, it's better than nothing, and hell, uh, with these rounds here at close range, 30 grain, chunk of lead hitting with 205 foot-pounds of energy um, it's definitely gonna make somebody think twice <laughs> about coming at you um, but that's pretty cool not really too sure of the accuracy yet I haven't uh, had the time uh, just got them yesterday and then uh, I found a nice pair of mossy oak breakup um, like springtime gobbler gloves normally 25 bucks at like Dix or Gander Picked them up three bucks uh, at the gun show, and then two other things I picked up yesterday: uh, my fire starter. This is one of them, and then I had picked up an Elk Ridge kit that has the uh, three sticks, and then the striker right there. Um, so nice little addition to the camping bag. I've never had one of these before. My cousin's always had his, so I figured I'd go ahead and pick one up. Um, tested it out already right there as you can see with the magnesium block and then the flint striker and it works freaking awesome so 
that would be that. Unfortunately, um, the guy and his daughter from Empire Game Calls was not there. I assume he only had the booth set up for one day. Um, but again, if you guys are looking to um, purchase an awesome, awesome game call for turkeys at an extremely low price, I would definitely recommend to check out his website. Um, I have that in the first part of the video. So, other than that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get this onto the computer, do a little bit of editing, and throw it up for you guys. So, as always, be safe, have fun, and I'll catch you later.